All right, so today we're going to be solving problem 5.97. And the problem is written in the description. I chose this problem today because if you understand this problem, it means you truly do understand what normal force is. And so I'll be reading the problem and drawing the picture um, all at the same time. It says that a block is placed against the vertical front of a cart. So let's go ahead and draw this cart. Um, it's looking something like this. And they said that there is a block placed against the vertical front of the cart, like that. So that's the block. That's the cart. And they're saying, what acceleration must the cart have so that the block does not fall down? And they told us that there's a coefficient of static friction called mu s sub s. And they told us that there's an acceleration, which is what we're after. We want to figure out what that acceleration is. So first step after drawing a picture, of course, is always to draw the free body diagram. So let's go ahead and do that. This represents the block. And we know, and if as long as we're on a planet, there's going to be a force of gravity or the force of weight. It's going to be called the force of weight of the block. And then there's going to be the force that's opposing it, which is keeping him from falling down. Remember, he's not falling down, which is going to be equal to the force of static friction. And then there's also that applied force. And we're looking for that acceleration due to that applied force. We'll call it F sub A. And so after drawing the picture, let's go ahead and break down all these forces mathematically into their equations in the x component and the y components. So down here, we'll write, and then we'll talk about the x components. And we know that the sum of all forces in the x direction is equal. There's only one force here, you see. There's only the applied force. So we can say that that's equal to the applied force. Which is equal to the mass of the block times the acceleration in the x direction. That's what we're after. And some people might ask, well, how come there isn't a force going that way due to the block pushing against the cart? Well, you have to ask yourself, is the block really pushing against the cart? Because if he was, then there would, he would have an acceleration in that direction. And, if, and the only way he could have had an acceleration is if someone is pushing with him in that opposite direction or, or if the block had some sort of like a rocket pushing against that way. But there's nothing like that. And so after we do, do the y com x components, we'll do the y components. and the sum of all forces in the y direction is equal to the force of static friction minus the force of weight. Which is equal to the mass of the object times the acceleration in the y direction. And what is that acceleration in the y direction, by the way? Because they told us what is the acceleration that we must apply in order for the box, in order for the block not to go, not to fall down. Well, if the block isn't falling down, that must mean that the acceleration in the y direction is zero. So we can go ahead and solve for F S F for um, the force of static friction and the force of weight, because that one's just going to be equal to zero. So we can say that the force of static friction is equal to the force of weight, which makes sense intuitively because the box is not falling down, right? So they have to be equal in magnitude. And let's now, now let's stop and think about the force of static friction. We know that the very fundamental definition of friction is equal, of the force of friction is equal to the coefficient of the friction, in this case static friction, times the normal force which is equal to the force of weight. Let's go ahead and solve for the force of weight, which is going to be equal to the mass of the object times gravitational acceleration, right? And so what is that normal force, though? 
normal, by definition, is a force that is perpendicular to the contact area. The contact area is this, is this place right here, is this surface area of the car, right? And so the normal force is whatever is um, perpendicular to it. And what's perpendicular to this contact force, to this, to this, to this um, contact area? It's going to be the applied force. So the normal force is equal to the applied force into this object. That is why it, that is why we're, we're we're very insistent to say that that normal force isn't no, ne isn't necessarily equal to mg for every single case. In this case, if it was equal to mg, then there would be an applied force and a frictional force, and it would be accelerating upwards, which doesn't make sense for our the case of our problem. So the applied force here is equal to the normal force because normal by definition is perpendicular and the applied force is the only force that is perpendicular to our contact area. Another way to think of normal force is, is the force that's keeping the block from breaking through the cart. If the block was able to break through it, then he would have a greater magnitude of force going into the cart, which we, as we stated earlier, there is no force going that way. So we can go ahead and rewrite this and say that mu times the force applied, because they're the same exact thing, is equal to mg. And then we can solve for the applied force here to say that the force applied is equal to mg divided by mu. And um, we can now we see that we have a, an applied force here, and we have an applied force here, so they're common variables. So let's go ahead and plug in the force that applied that we found here and plug it into that one. So we found that the force of the applied force is equal to mg divided by mu, and that's equal to m a x in the x direction, which is what we're looking for. And you'll see that the m's are the same exact ones here in this case, so we can just solve and cancel those out. So the acceleration in the x direction is equal to the gravitational acceleration of Earth divided by the coefficient of static friction. So you'll see that the problem came out to be very simple in terms of its solution. So just to recap, and help so make sure you understand the problem. The two main points to realize is that the forces in the y direction all add up to zero. And also to realize that the applied force is equal to the normal force. By recognizing those two facts, you'll, you'll end up with a common variable in your, y, in your x and y component equations. And then you can go ahead and solve for the acceleration in that direction, which turned out to be 9.8 divided by the coefficient of static friction. Hopefully that made sense and you understood it.